Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to automate Telegram bot using Pabli Connect. So I am an owner of a business and I've created a group with the help of Telegram for all of my team members so that they can post questions that they have in that group. So my objective is that, that as soon as any of the question is going to be received in the group that I've created in my Telegram account, automatically with the help of Google Gemini, the answer of that question should be created. And as soon as the answer of that question is going to be created automatically telegram bot should post the answer of that question in my group that I've created in my telegram account for that what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between telegram and Gemini with the help of Pabli connect so if you want to learn how to do this automation then let me take you all to my screen in this video we're going to learn how to automate telegram bot using Pabli connect so what we are going to see in this video is that we are going to create a telegram bot an AI telegram bot for our telegram account with the help of Pabli connect by using telegram and Google Gemini okay and we are going to learn how we can do that so basically here my objective is that that I am an owner of a business okay and I have created a group in my telegram account for my team members so that they can ask questions in this group okay so I want that whenever any of my team members members are going to ask a question automatically a reply to that question should be created with the help of telegram bot and how we're going to do that for that we are going to create an automation between telegram and google gemini with the help of pabli connect so on the screen you can see the website of pabli connect that is pabli.com slash connect after browsing this website we need to sign into our pabli connect account but if you're a new user you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month so as i'm an existing user i'm going to sign into my pabli connect account after signing in you can see the all pabli apps window in which you can see the five applications of Pabli from which we are going to select Pabli connect by clicking on access now then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you, okay? In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A new dialog box is going to appear, which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as automate telegram bot using Pabli Connect. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow, okay? Next over here, it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that click on this drop down arrow and from this drop down we have to select Telegram bot automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in and then we're going to click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of automate Telegram bot using Pabli Connect and there are two windows in front of you over here one says trigger other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts over here. Trigger says when this happens an action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process there can be only one trigger step at multiple action steps. Firstly what we are going to do is we are going to set up our trigger step by clicking on this arrow right over here and for the trigger application we are going to select it as telegram bot for the trigger application we are going to select it as telegram bot and for the trigger event i'm going to select it as set webhook slash watch updates okay so after selecting the trigger application and the event firstly what happens is why are we selecting our trigger application as telegram bot and the trigger event as setup webhook slash watch events because i want that that i have created a group with the help of telegram so this is a group right over here that is demo test okay and my objective is that that any of my group members ask any questions in this group right over here what should happen is automatically a reply should be generated with the help of google gemini and our bot that we have created in our telegram account and automatically the reply should be forwarded okay in this group right over here that is why for the trigger application we are selecting our trigger application as telegram bot in the trigger event as set webhook slash watch updates okay firstly what we're going to do is we could create a telegram bot using telegram right over here firstly we have to open our telegram account using telegram web okay so this is my telegram account right over here and to create a telegram bot what we have to do is we have to search for bot father over here so i'm going to select bot father right over here okay so this is the bot father right over here and to start a bot father you have to click on start right over 
over here as soon as you go to do that over here message is going to be forwarded and to create a new bot inside telegram we have to click on new bot right over here as soon as you go to do that over here it is asking for the name of our bot i'm going to give a name to my bot as test ai bot so this is the name of my bot right over here okay it is asking for the username for the test ai bot i'm going to first copy this from here i'm going to give a username to my test ai bot right over here after the name over here it says we have to apply underscore bot so i'm going to apply over here as underscore bot and then i'm going to send so as we have created a bot right over here, if i'm going to take you back to public connect i'm going to click on connect right over here after click on connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection after click on add new connection over here it is asking for the token and in the bot that we have created you can see a token is provided of the bot we're going to copy this token from here and we're going to paste the token right over here okay then click on save right over here you can see over here telegram bot is successfully connected to pably connect right over here okay now what we're going to do is we're going to active the bot we are going to start the bot that we have created for that click on this link right over here so this is the bot that i've created with the help of bot father we're going to start this bot by click on start over here you can see over here in the chart history the bot is successfully created in the name of test ai bot right over here and now what we're going to do is we are going to add this test ai bot inside this group that we have created in our telegram account so that whenever any of my members are going to ask questions in this group right over here automatically this bot that i've created is going to answer those questions with the help of google gemini okay so what we're going to do is we're going to add this bot inside this group click on this add right over here and we are going to search for test ai bot one two three so this is the bot right over here i'm going to select and i'm going to add this bot right over here so as you can see over here the bot is successfully added to this group right over here but to send messages in this group right over here this bot needs to be an admin because only admins can reply to this chat right over here so what we are going to do is we are going to create this bot as an admin with the help of my phone i'm going to create it so i'm going to add test ai bot as an admin to this group as you can see that i've added test ai bot as an admin to this group right over here so as we have added the bot successfully to this group what we are going to do is we are going to open our workflow that we have created and we are going to click on save and send test request as soon as you go to click on save and send test request over here it is saying waiting for response so now what we are going to do is as we have added the bot to this group we are going to send a question in this group right over here and we're going to check whether pably connect captures the response of that question that we are going to send in this group right here or not for that what we are going to do is we are going to add a question in this group so the question that i want to ask is so as you can see this is the question that i want to ask that is what is automation and how is it useful for businesses so i'm going to send this question question in this group right over here okay so as i forwarded this question in this group right over here i'm going to open my workflow that i've created with pably connect and i'm going to check whether pably connect has captured the response of this question that we have forwarded in this group or not for that i'm going to open my workflow and after a few seconds over here you can see a response is captured and for the message text over here it says the question that we have asked in the group right over here okay and with all the other details so this means that we successfully set up our trigger inside pably connect so after setting up our trigger step we need to set up our action step so we're going to set up our action step and for the action application we are going to take it as filter by pably we are taking our action application as filter by pably because in our previous response that is telling telegram setup webhook watch updates whenever any update is going to happen in this group or with the bot automatically the response is going to be captured but we just want that whenever a new message is going to be forwarded on our telegram group right over here automatically then only this work this workflow should continue okay that is why we are applying filter by pably and filter by pably help us to filter values for the action event i'm going to select it as filter values and then we're going to click on connect after clicking on connect over here it is asking for the select label filter type and the value for the label over here i'm going to select it as message id right over here so i'm going to select my label over here as message id okay and for the filter type over here i'm going to select it as is not empty that means when the message id is not going to be empty then only this workflow should continue okay so for the select label i'm going to select it as message id and for the filter type as is not empty okay and then we're going to select it as save and send test request 
as soon as you get to do that over here the message says the condition is true and the state is a success so this means that we successfully applied a filter to this workflow right over here after applying the filter successfully as we want that a reply should be generated to the question that is forwarded in this group right over here with the help of google gemini so what we are going to do is we are going to create a reply with the help of google gemini for that we going to add an action step by clicking on this plus button and for the action application over here i'm going to select it as google generative ai okay for the this is google gemini right over here that is google generative ai and for the action event as generate content and then we're going to click on connect in order to connect google generative ai that is google gemini with public connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection as soon as you're going to click on add new connection over here it is asking for the api key with the help of this key we are going to connect google gemini that is google generative ai with public connect how are we going to have the access of the api key for that over here in the high hyperlink it says google ai studio we're going to click on this hyperlink right over here as soon as you're going to click on the hyperlink right over here you will be forwarded towards this page okay and in this page over here it says get api key we are going to click on get api key these are the api keys and we are going to click at create api keys and for the project i'm going to select it as generative language client and then we're going to click on create api key and existing project right over here as you can see over here api key is generated i'm going to copy this from here and i'm going to paste it right over here and then i'm going to click on save as you can see that we successfully connected google generative ai that is google gemini with pabli connect okay over here it is asking for the prompt the text that we want to have the content created for for the prompt over here firstly i'm going to write it as so this is my prompt i am an owner of a company fintrex is the name of my company and i want to reply to questions asked by asked on my telegram group by my team members and i want the answer to be simple but briefly explained explained and the question is for the question right over here what we are going to do is we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we are going to insert the data from the previous step how are we going to map the data firstly click on this field right over here as soon as you get to do that over here you can see the previous steps are given from which we are going to select telegram bot setup webhook watch updates right over here and this is the question right over here we are going to select this question and the data is mapped right over here now as the data is mapped what happen is the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically the data right over here place of this map data is going to be updated okay next over here it is asking for the models for the models over here what we are going to select it we are going to select it as model slash gemini pro we are going to select our models as gemini pro right over here for the method over here i'm going to select it as generate content and then we're going to click on save and send test request as soon as we go to click on save and send test request over here a response is received and the response that we have received is a positive response because over here you can see the answer of the question that we have asked is given here below so this means that we fully created an answer with the help of google gemini for the question that has been asked in our telegram group and now we want our telegram bot should answer the question in the same group right over here so what we are going to do is we're going to add another action step right over here to send a message with the help of telegram bot to our telegram group and for the action application over here i'm going to select it as telegram bot and for the action event over here i'm going to select it as send a text message or reply and then we're going to click on connect as soon as you go to click on connect a new window is going to appear and i have the existing connection so i'm going to select this option but if you want you can add a new connection so i'm going to click on save next as soon as you get to do that over here it is asking for the chat id we're going to map the data for the chat id right over here so i'm so as you can see this is a chat id right over here we're going to map the data of the chat id next it is asking for the text message the answer that we want to reply to this group towards this question right over here so what we are going to do is for the text message over here i'm going to write it as google gemini says first i want the google gemini says to be written in the text and the answer i'm going to map the data of the content that we have received in our previous step okay and as we have written the answer over here it is asking for all these details right over here i'm going to skip the part because i don't require this field and then i'm going to click on save and send test request As soon as you go to click on save and send test request over here a response is received and the response that we have received is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my group that I've created in my Telegram account in which I've asked the question I'm going to check whether 
the reply towards that question is forwarded or not for that i'm going to open my group and yes as you can see right over here the reply successfully added to this question that has been asked first of all it explains what is automation and how it is useful for business how automation is useful for business and this is the reply of that question right over here so this means that we successfully created an automation between telegram and google gemini with the help of pably connect and now but for all of you guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask another another question in this group right over here and i'm going to check whether telegram bot auto replies this question with the help of google gemini or not for that i'm going to ask another question in this group and the question that i'm going to ask is so this is the question that i want to ask which are, which says what are the top 5 automations i can create with pably connect okay so this is the question so i'm going to send this question in this group right over here and i am going to wait for few minutes and i am going to check whether the reply towards this question is automatically sent or not and yes now as you can see in front of you guys the answer is automatically forwarded in this group right over here towards the question that i've asked right over here the answer over here gives the top 5 automations that you can create with pably connect as you can see right over here so this means that we successfully created an automation between telegram bot and google gemini with the help of pably connect so now to sum up till now what we have done my objective was that to create a bot with the help of telegram using pably connect so that the bot can reply to all the questions that are been asked in my group automatically with the help of google gemini okay and this is how we create an automation between these two applications for this use case so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment on below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video not just with these applications you can create automation with the help of pably connect between multiple applications if you have any doubts you can send us email on support@pably.com if you have any queries you can ask your queries on forum.pably.com if you have any queries regarding the pricing of pably connect then you can check out this link if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching